everyone, this is Kirsa back with Beach Balance Life and here today we are going to do a different reading. We are going to do love prediction for February for all zodiac signs. And first, before we get started, I just wanted to say thank you so much for all of my subscribers. I'm at 200 subscribers right now. The channel is growing. It's really great to have the community and have all of your feedback and your comments and I really appreciate it. So. You know, just thank you so much. It really gives me the encouragement to keep going and provide these videos. They're fun to do, and I'm glad that someone is benefiting from them. So hopefully it all resonates with you in some way, shape, or form. So let's get started. All right, Aries, here we go. All right, what is happening in love life for Aries for the month of February? Let's see. Okay, we have the Four of Cups. We have Judgment. And we have the Ace of Swords with the Wheel of Fortune. Let's see. Oh, I love it when the cards are popping. Woo! Ah! Yes. All right. The Two of Swords. The High Priestess. I love the High Priestess. She's awesome. The Hangman. Four of Wands in reverse. Knight of Wands in reverse. And two of wands. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing right off the bat. Okay, so it seems to me that maybe you've been stuck in some, some sort of mundane feeling and I really feel that you're being called to accept new opportunities in love. Or if you're in a relationship, accept the love being given. You know, love is give and take, receive, and giving and I think that they're going to have a, a swift breakthrough in this and I really feel like the wheel of fortune is is turning in your favor to accomplish this new step into whatever it is I feel like in the past maybe um, the recent past you've had a little bit of mental conflict on trying to make a decision on something or deciding between two people or taking your relationship to the next level or getting out of a relationship and I really feel that the, the foundation of this decision making is you've been mentally stuck in your own thoughts and thinking that you, you can't move on. So I do see that with the high priestess that you are definitely on the right path and you just need to tune into a little bit more of your intuition and get a little bit out of logic override mode. Um, because I do see that you are hanging in self-sacrifice right now. And so you need to make a decision on which way to go. And I really feel that, you know, surrounding the situation with the four of wands in reverse, that you may not be in a supportive environment with, um, with emotional happiness and creativity. So you need to get back in touch with that. Because I do feel with the, the knight of wands in reverse, it's kind of slowing down, but taking the right pace, you're in the right timing. And with the two of wands, I really feel that you're just going to basically look out into the world and see what it is you really want because the world is your oyster and you can have this great new love and you just need to accept these new opportunities that are coming in. It looks like actually you might have anywhere between two to four new opportunities coming in. And I really feel that within the next few weeks in mid-February is when you're really going to see a pickup of things. So let's get a clarifier for an advice for what it is exactly you need to focus on to bring in this new love or take your relationship to the next level. All right, so we have emotions are running high, so super moon. When there's a super moon, and basically it's an amplified regular full moon and so yes there are a lot of emotions going on so you really need to tap into your intuition and feel these emotions in your body and at that point once you figure out what direction you want to take and you make a decision you're going to make the decision i feel like and you're going to release yourself from being stuck in self-sacrifice so all right so let's see um i'm going to pull a romance angel card and see what kind of love this is going to be all right so we have trust 
The situation you're calling on is requiring for you to trust. So you're definitely on the right path. So you just need to get out of your own mental way and tune into your emotions a little bit more. All right, Aries? I really feel that the love messages have come through of what you need to hear for February. Please comment below, subscribe. Let me know how this resonates with you. I'm really interested to see in this, this new love. You have a few interests coming in. Woo, that's awesome and exciting. Or taking your relationships to the next level, which is also lovely, especially around Valentine's Day. Hey. Okay. Let's move on to Pisces. We're gonna go backwards. <laughs> I don't know why, but we are. Uh, okay, so Pisces, what does Pisces need to know for their love prediction for February? <laughs> I'm still, I can't believe we're going backwards. Okay. All right, we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Lovers, and then we have the Queen of Swords. All right, the Five of Pentacles, the World, Seven of Cups, the Ten of Wands, the Three of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords. So let's see Pisces. Okay, what do we have going on for you? Right now, from what I'm gathering, you may have, you may be in a situation where you need to choose between virtue and vice or between two people. And um, I really feel that maybe you have been feeling a little bit discouraged and just kind of not really feeling involved and included. So there's two things that could be going on. There are two signs here. We have air sign and also earth signs. So there's two things that could, go, that could be going on. Either it's mental and material that you're trying to decide between vice and virtue. So maybe you have, you're in a situation where you want to move your relationship to the next level, but you're trying to decide and gather your finances or decide if you really want to move in that direction. And, um, <laughs> a notification on my phone just went off, which means I always see it as a sign as amplification that I'm on the right path of delivering this message. And I feel that you you need to realize that with the world in reverse, that you actually can turn this your world upside down, back to right side up, and get out of this, this feeling of being left out in the cold. And I think that you're actually doing it to yourself, honestly. I don't think it's any kind of outside um, influences. And I do feel that in the recent past, you've had a lot of options to choose from a lot of mental things, you know, either people or deciding on if you are gathering more material things or you need to be in a more emotional available spot. You just have a lot of options going on. And I think it's time to release the burdens that you have and really tune into um, celebrating around you and, and being involved with people. Cause right now I don't feel like you're actually involved. I really kind of feel like you're in your head mentally trying to figure out, uh, why you're in a situation that you're in. So if you're single, I'm feeling that you, maybe it's just not time for you to date, but we still have opportunity here. I feel like you're no longer waiting on somebody and you're moving forward, so it's great. So releasing the past is huge message I'm getting for you, Pisces. And I do feel that the outcome is going to be a message coming, somebody new, or a message that you receive to, it's okay to move forward and get out of your head and stop worrying about finances and where you are right now. Because honestly, I feel that when people focus on what they can provide as opposed to moving forward with their true honest feelings, it holds them back. So I think you need to move forward swiftly and I think everything is going to turn around and be a yes for you, whether it's dating somebody new or meeting new people and um, or moving your relationship to the next level or even getting out of something that no longer serves you and that's okay too. So I'm gonna pull a moon card just for a little bit of advice for you. So we have 
It's time to release negative energy. So that's exactly what I'm saying, Pisces. It's time for you to release negativity and move forward and stop getting in your head. Get out of your head and get more into your emotions, okay? And then I will pull a romance card for you, Pisces, and see what's going to happen, where this is going to focus. This could be the one. So this is an actually a really good card. The person you're with could be the one that you're meant to be with, and if you're single, you are going to meet somebody who could be the one. You just need to get out of your own way. I really feel it's very interesting. It's very similar to the Aries reading I just did. Um, you just need to get out of your own way and out of your own head. So Pisces, I really hope this message resonates for you for the month of February. Please comment below, subscribe to my channel, and thank you again for tuning in. This is great. I really love hearing the feedback and seeing how this can help you. So, all right, Pisces, best of luck in February. Okay, moving on to, let's shuffle this deck, shuffle this other deck, kind of move up the energy. We're going to go backwards. We're going to do Aquarius now. All right, my Aquarius, my lovely Aquas, what is happening Woo! for you in February? All right, we have three of pentacles already, the king of wands. We have the seven of swords, the empress, the world upside down. Pisces just had that card too. And okay, the five of pentacles and the queen of pentacles. This is very similar to, it's actually complete opposite of just the Pisces reading. This is insane. Okay, wow, all right. Aquarius, so what I'm getting right now off the bat, you are in a really good spot and you're communicating well with your partner or you're communicating, getting yourself out there in the community to meet new people. And I really feel that you're surrounded some, by somebody right now who is a fire sign or has a lot of fire in their chart or represents a lot of passion. And this could be a relationship with somebody you're already in or somebody you're just getting ready to meet, okay? And I think that the warning here is you need to be careful to not let your guard down too soon and just make sure that you are aligning yourself with people who have your interest in mind, your best interest in mind, and they're not going to, to be dishonest and not forthcoming and giving you all the information you need when you're getting to know somebody. And if you're in a relationship, I think that maybe it, you might need to assess a little bit if the person you're with is being a little bit unfair and taking a little bit more and you're you're putting a little bit more energy into the into the relationship because i do feel like the foundation of this is very loving and has a lot of potential and i also see for my aquarius um you might just be careful on um on i don't predict this but pregnancy okay and i really feel that if you don't feel like things are in balance, it's, it's okay for you to reassess things and make sure things are in balance in a relationship or the people you're meeting because you wanna make sure that no one's taking advantage of you. You can turn your world right side up. This is the same exact card that Pisces just got. I'm not really sure why that's happening, but I do feel like there you're getting back out there into your community in the recent past you were feeling left out in the cold, but you've you've changed that energy and you're getting out there and being more communicative. So just speaking up for what for, for what it is you deserve, right? And with the Queen of Pentacles, I really feel that, you know, if you are in a relationship, that this is going to really uh, have a little bit more solid foundation. And if you aren't, you will meet a fire, or I'm sorry, a earth sign Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or also back to the fire sign as well, okay? And I feel that you're narrowing down your options and you've been releasing your burdens that have been holding you back from moving forward in a relationship and speaking up for yourself. I really feel like that's the strongest message right here is you need to speak up for yourself because I really do that true love re revolves around this situation. Now, there's a couple different things I'm seeing with the love surrounding the situation. And there's, this is, however it resonates with you, I do feel that there might be a third party situation that has 
maybe this person has been dishonest and hasn't been forthcoming and giving you all the information, or you're, you could meet somebody who is already involved with somebody or is just dating multiple people, or you could be dating multiple people. Just make sure you're being honest with other people too on where you are and give them the information. If they say, hey, are you dating other people? Be forthcoming and say, yes, I am. You know, it's okay to say that. I mean, if you say, no, I'm not, then they're gonna assume and you don't wanna assume anything, okay? So that's what I'm seeing for you, Aquarius. Let's get a Moonology card for a little bit of advice to make sure that you're on the right path. Anything else that you need to know for this reading. And we have, it's time to give rather than to take. So Aquarius, are you the one that's taking out of the relationship? Or it, they could per, the person could be that they're taking too much out of the relationship. So you just need to regain balance. Just go in, do a, you know, communicate with your partner. And if you're meeting somebody new, just be communicative and, you know, check in. It's always good to have a little bit of an energy check in and also, you know, just communicate. I'm serious. Communication is the key. All right, Aquarius, I'm going to pull a romance angel card. Ooh, that one flew right out of the deck. Okay. You deserve love. Okay. This is right in line with everything. I really feel that maybe you haven't been feeling that you deserve love, but you do deserve love and you do deserve a balance with, with all of this, this community and stepping out there and asking your friends for help. Okay. I really feel that you've been hurt in the past and if things have been out of balance or they're currently out of balance in your relationships. So just know that you deserve love and it's a time, it's time for the person you're with to give or time for you to give rather than take. You just need to balance, okay? Those are the messages I'm getting for you, Aquarius, for February. So I hope this resonates with you. Thank you again for subscribing to my channel. Please comment, subscribe, like below. We'd love to hear how this resonates with you. All right, take it easy. Bye, Aquarius. Okay, we are going to move on to Capricorn. All right, I need to give a good shuffle of these cards because they were very similar. So, all right. Do, do, do. Okay, just gotta make sure things good to go. Okay, all right, woo. Okay, L interesting, the King of Cups already just popped out. I put it back in the deck. It came out again for my Capricorn. And we have the Ten of Wands. Okay, let's see. Oh my goodness. Okay, and then the High Priestess. Let's see what the foundation is. What's going on with you for February? Okay, we have the Seven of Wands. So riding into victory. Yeah. Okay, then we have the Ten of Pen or I'm sorry, the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, all right, we have the Three of Swords in reverse. Okay, do do do. Oh, Emperor, Emperor in reverse, Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Ace of Wands. Oh, looks like you already are just hoping for a fresh new beginning, right? Definitely, and you're releasing the past is exactly what I'm getting. Okay, all right, so Capricorn. I feel that you are either a water sign or you're involved with a water sign, but there's been a lot of just heavy burdens in your relationship. Or if you're in a situation where you're single and you're looking for somebody, I really feel that you need to release things that are holding you back from meeting new people, whether it is, you know, you need to, you're just, you have too much on your plate, too much at work, you're committing to do too many things. You need to let that go and trust your intuition a little bit more to lead you into riding into victory, okay? Because this is the, the foundation of the reading where you are on your way and you just need to know that whatever the messages you're getting, you need to get out of your logical brain and start paying attention to your intuition with this, the high priestess. If you don't, then you're gonna continue carrying these burdens. You need to release these to either move forward, either way, relationship or single people. You need to release these burdens, okay? Because I do feel that you are working hard and I feel like your intuition is working hard to tell you these, you know, you need to release this past and you, it looks like you have released some heartache, 
which is really good because you can't move forward if you don't if you don't have the wherewithal to release the past because the past is in the past you have to let it go okay uh with the emperor in reverse i feel that you know right now you don't you don't feel a lot of structure in your life that's why you have these the ten of wands you're, you have so many burdens so you need to release these burdens to move forward and you know and feel steady again with the nine of pentacles in reverse she's actually when she's right side up she has her stuff together like she is awesome right she or he or whoever whoever this resonates with but when she's in reverse she doesn't feel grounded she doesn't have her finances together she doesn't have her creativity and in alignment to help build the manifestation she's looking for so i really feel that you are looking for a brand new, fresh, creative start, and you can have that. You will have that because with the Hermit Reverse, you're releasing the past. So you're releasing the past of heartache to move forward. And, and until you release the past, you can't move forward with anybody because you're not being fair to them. You're not being fair to yourself, right? So I really feel that you have a fresh new start coming. I love that for you, Capricorn. That's awesome. All right, we're going to pull a card for a little bit of advice to see what you need to know to make sure that you release this correctly so you can move forward and have that brand new fresh start. Okay, a personal issue reach, reaches resolution. Okay, that's exactly what we're saying here. You've, re, you've released heartache. You're on your way to a brand new fresh start because you ha you've made the decision to release the past. So congratulations, Capricorn, that's awesome. And I really feel by doing this, you're gonna have a lot more structure and foundation and grounding to, to step into this situation, okay? So let's pull a romance card for you, Capricorn. What's in store for Capricorn's love life after you, re you release the past? Finances and career. So this is exactly what we're talking about with the the Emperor in reverse and the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Once you get your grounding back in this brand new fresh start, you're really gonna have a better sense of releasing your personal issues. And you know what? I'm just gonna pull one more to see. Oh, all right. Romantic feelings. Oh, there's two cards that popped out. Romantic feelings and religious factors. So the re religious factors is tuning into your intuition, okay? And releasing your past. And the romantic feelings, they're on their way to you. Capricorn, you've got some fun, yummy stuff coming up for you. I really hope that resonates. And you just, you're either fresh start on the way, you're on your way, Capricorn. So. Please subscribe to my channel, comment below. Let me know how this resonates with you. I would love to see. All right. All right. Good luck, Capricorn. Okay. Do, do, do. All right. We need to shuffle all these cards. Make sure the energy is good to go. All right. All right, ooh, ah, <laughs> okay, interesting. I'm just gonna put this off to the side, a time rather than to give and take. Okay, anyway, let's move on to Sagittarius. Here we go, Sagittarius, what's in store for your love life in February? Let's see, all right. You've been releasing something that you've been holding on to, you're restoring balance, because it's been out of balance, and it's taking a little bit of patience on your part but I really feel like you have a strong foundation of finances and creativity, and you have been releasing, working so hard, and just going in the, with the flow is what I'm hearing. And you're releasing somebody from your past, which is good, let them go, Woo. or anything from the past. And the tower in reverse, this is awesome, this is rebuilding, so you're rebuilding something new in your relationship, Sagittarius, you may feel a little discouraged right now in the moment, but I really feel that the situation is no longer going to be tricky for you. There's a lot of indication around here with patience and you have the Queen of Cups and that's what you're hoping for. 
Yes. So in your current relationship, you just had to have patience, you know, to, to rebalance things and rebuild. And I really feel it. Like you're really rebuilding with some great energy emotionally and you're letting go. You need to let go a little bit of the mental anguish that you're in because it's all mental. All right. And then we have the seven of swords in reverse, which is great. So the seven of Seven of Swords in Reverse is telling me someone's been taking too much, like in relationships, you give and take, or when you're out dating somebody, give and take. And I really feel that someone's been taking a little bit more and you've been giving a little bit too much, but I really feel that you're building your strong foundation again to put that order back in balance, okay? And for, let's see, the Moonology cards, have to reshuffle these from the last group. All right, your advice is going to be to focus on for the month of February, for my Sagittarius. Okay, a new romantic cycle begins. This is awesome. This means that literally right when you start focusing on rebalancing and getting out of your head a little bit and rebuilding this awesome new foundation, you will have a new romantic cycle. So let's see what the angel, Archangel Angels have to say for the romance, for this new romantic cycle. I'm excited for you, Sagittarius. Woohoo! I love my fire signs. Yes, I do. You deserve love. Exactly. Okay. You deserve love. And you deserve love that's in a, a well balanced way of give and take from upside down to right side up, all right? Just restore the balance. And you have the power to do that. You can do that through communication. You can do that anyway. Just make sure that you're not being taken for granted. All right, Sagittarius, I really hope this reading resonates for you for the month of February. Please comment below. Let me know how this resonates. We'd we'll love to hear your comments. It means a lot to have you on my channel. And I really hope that um, that you're enjoying yourself because I enjoy reading for you. All right, bye Sagittarius. Okay, let's see. Woo, moving on, moving on to my Scorpios. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. What's in store for your love life? Okay, let's see. Ace of Cups in reverse, the Emperor. Okay, so this looks like you're in a relationship right now and you may, there may be need to be a little refresh of emotions. Get back in touch with your emotions. There's a lot of structure going on. Ah, definitely. Okay, so I think that if you're in a relationship, you need to currently put a little bit more emotion and love into it because you're definitely going to manifest exactly what you want. So if you don't want this relationship, don't put the emotion into it and the effort and there won't be any structure and then I'll be gone. So. I'm just being silly, but it's true. So I think what you need to do is you need to, uh, you're not gonna walk away from this situation with the, and so you need to release the past. Okay, so there might be some issues and some old emotions lingering that you need to get rid of in order to move forward. And that's even if you're going and dating new people and finding new love, right? Oh, you're definitely, yeah, the five of cups in reverse. You've let go of being left out in that cold, not feeling. You have control of this situation and you're going to manifest what you want. And you're currently releasing, you need to release the burden. So if there's anything in the past lingering with this hermit card, you need to release any of this. And the past is in the past. All right, Scorpio. So let's get to it. Let's see. I really feel that, yes, uh, the two cups in reverse. So there hasn't been a lot of simpatico feelings, and but you need to restore that, that order in order to move forward. And because there are things have been out of balance with the justice in reverse, okay? But let's see. All right, the nine of cups in reverse. So what that's telling me is you may feel undefeated that your wishes aren't coming true, but the king of pentacles also popped out and once you 
you get grounded and you may also be dealing with there's a couple there's a lot of fire signs in here and a lot of earth signs and a little bit of water signs but i really feel that that once you tune into what it is you need to rebalance in yourself you'll be able to rebalance in your relationship and put that love back into the relationship or put the love and the passion back into finding a new romantic partner and i really feel that you'll be able to manifest something new this month and let's see with the moonology cards i'm going to pull just an advice card to see how you can accomplish this scorpio oh okay your hard work is paying off. So you're definitely, your hard work is paying off, okay? This is amazing. You are definitely, you know what you need to do. You just need to move forward and do it. That's what I'm hearing. And release the burdens and the mental, or anything that isn't giving you passion, release it. It's time to let it go. Let the past go. And yeah, I mean, because you are working hard. And this is the new moon in Capricorn. So it's actually saying that you're building a strong foundation again, which is what you need to do to manifest what you want. And you have that foundation, that magic. Okay, so for the romance angel cards, my Scorpios. Woo. Okay, we have play, playfulness has come out. So you need to get back in and having a little bit more fun. And get back into that emotional feeling of, you know, of camaraderie and really just having these cups that are full of all this this beautiful these beautiful flowers that have been growing and planting new seeds and just getting out and having fun you, you just need to get out from the burdens that you feel that you're doing or that you have but you need to get out from underneath and then I have it has love yourself first okay so this is a great card too my Scorpios loving yourself first so you can manifest because you can manifest your, your relationship to get better, to move to the next level, or you can manifest a new relationship in the month of February. That's what I'm hearing for you. Okay, Scorpios, comment below. Let me know how this resonates. We'd love to see what's going on with you. And I look forward to seeing you in March. All right, thanks Scorpios. All right, Libra, what's going on? Libra, Libra. We're moving backwards in the Zodiac today. It's hilarious. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. It just came out that way. So, all right, Libras, what's in store for your love life in February? Let's see what's going on, advice, and what area it's going to hit for you. All right, so first we have the Queen of Cups, the Five of Swords in reverse, which is great. And we have the Seven of Cups, the King of Swords in reverse, the Queen of Pentacles upright. So what I'm seeing already, there's definitely a lot of options and the people that are no longer serving you are falling away. And there might be a couple of empty victories. Ah, the Ten of Cups. You definitely have released em empty victories and any kind of options that are, you have a, you're, you're actually being presented with more options in dating. And with the Queen of Cups, the, the King of Swords and the Pentacles, we have a lot of earth, water, and um, air signs here. And your conflicts are being resolved. There's two, this is interesting. So in your reading, you have two five of wands and five of swords in reverse. That's awesome. That means you are just literally like shedding anything that's no longer serving you. That's amazing. And leaving room for new things to come in. Okay, let's see. The new things coming in. Okay, you're definitely, it's time for you to get out of, You maybe you think that you've needed to reflect a lot. It's time for you to stop that. You're ready to get out there, do something, and manifest the true emotional happiness that you, you've had in the past. You can have it again, and you're not. it's gonna be pretty easy. We have the Ace of Pentacles surrounding your situation, so there are new beginnings happening, new solid foundations. That's really great, Libra. 
and we have the star card in reverse, you need to have a little bit more hope that there's positive energy surrounding this situation. So honestly, what I'm feeling is if you're in a relationship, it's, it's not providing you what you want. And if you're out there looking for somebody, I really feel that you've lost a little bit of luster, but you can turn that frown upside down because it's all about how you move forward and you just need to trust the universe that there is something out there for you, something better. And we have the hangman. So the hangman is telling me that you're hanging in self-sacrifice, but you can release that by just changing your, your outlook, okay? That's what I'm hearing. So you need to change your outlook. Ooh, right out of the top of the deck. And the Moonology card, adjustments are required. So yes, this is all on you. You need to just make a few adjustments in your outlook and regain that luster again for love and a true emotional happiness. You can get it back. You just need to release the past, release any conflicts, and it's time for you to stop reflecting. It's time for you to get out there and really make an effort. So, oh, we have express your love, okay? Amazing. You need to express your love, and that's what I'm hearing is you haven't expressed your love. You, you feel like you have been with the Queen of Cups, but I really feel that now it's time for you to really express your feelings towards somebody or, and if you're looking to date somebody new, be a little bit more expressive when you meet people. Don't be so closed off emotionally. I will draw one more romance card for you and let's see. Free yourself. So yes, you definitely could be in a relationship that is no longer serving you and there's been a lot of conflict. If you release it, there all the conflict's gonna go away. And you've been reflecting on that, it's time for you to stop reflecting, get out. That's if it's right for you. But you will know because when you express your love to this person, whether you're in a relationship, if you're in a relationship and you express your love and you're not getting any reciprocation back, then there's your indication. Bye. And if you're single, free yourself from anything that's holding you back in the past that's making you feel like you can't have that true emotional happiness because you can. And by expressing your love, you will really just, it'll, it'll, really come back and serve you well. So you just need to regain your, your luster for love. All right, Libra, that's what I have for you for the month of February. Please comment below. Let me know how that, that resonates. I'm really curious to see. Really curious to see how that's going to transpire for you. Okay, let's see. I need a little sip of water. Okay, here's for my Leos. Love me my fire signs. Woohoo! Oh no, yeah, we'll do Leo. We'll do Virgo next. Gonna skip Virgo. Sorry, Virgos. All right, Leo. Here we go. Woo! All right, so let's see. We have the moon, we have the three of cups, we have the devil. All right, I feel like maybe you have been left out, left um, in a current relationship. I feel like there's a lot of emotions that aren't being expressed, but there's a lot of, on the surface level, there's a lot of celebration with a lot of, you know, some, some energy that isn't serving you well. Maybe there's a little bit more partying going on that's covering up true emotion. And you don't really feel like you have a strong foundation right now. And I think it's time for you to, to step back and reflect. Reflect a bit on what it is you really want. Because you have been in the past, been left out in the cold. So I really feel that, you know, could be in a relationship where you're not um, 
You're not just being, you're not being fulfilled. And I really feel like obviously you want to feel fulfilled. And if you're looking for somebody, you know, maybe you've just been out partying a lot and doing surface talk and not really engaging with people. But I think it's time to reflect what it is you want. What do you want to, what do you want to manifest? because you can manifest anything and it's all going to balance out. But I really feel that in the month of February, it's time, you know, did I just drop a card? No, I really feel in the month of February, it's time for you to really consider what's really going to bring you happiness because it may, you may be forced into releasing a relationship or forced, you may just meet somebody who's really gonna challenge you to step out of that old energy of emptiness and vagueness yeah definitely i really feel that leo's let's see let me just pull a couple more cards okay queen of wands five or six of pentacles and nine of wands okay great okay i was kind of wondering what was going on but i really feel that people have been um, have been taking advantage of you recently in the past. And so when you're, when you're out there and you are not really putting in, I mean, you are a mirror of what you put out in the universe and what you want. So I really feel like you need to have some self-reflection and be honest with yourself what it is you really want. If you're looking for a relationship, I think you need to consider, reconsider the type of people you want to attract because right now I don't feel like you're attracting the people who are really wanting to give back to you and you need to you know i really feel that maybe you've lost a little bit of passion with the queen of wand in reverse but i really feel that you can release this these burdens and with the nine of wands in reverse it's telling me that you are you actually will release these burdens and you'll release this um indifference and and letting your guard down, your guard's been up. So Leo's, I really feel like you just need to let your guard down a little bit and um, and welcome in true love rather than these, you know, this this double energy that's this Capricorn energy energy that's surrounding this party scene. And it could also be a third party situation, not in all cases, but let's see. All right, how are we going to have Leo's? Let their guard down to the right people. That is a good question. What does Leo need to focus on to let their guard down for the right person to get the passionate relationship that they truly, truly want? Let's see, Leos. Conclusions are, in, are within reach. This is good. Okay, so I'm gonna pull another card. Let's pull a card from this deck. This is the first time I've done it for any of the signs, pulling a card from this deck because I wanna see if conclusions are in reach for you to achieve this. Let's see what it is you need to focus on that will help you. So we have goblins. So there's definitely a lot of negative energy around you, Leo, so that are gobbling up your, your attention. So you need, to release, you need to release the goblins and this energy of feeling left out in the cold. Okay, and once you release the people, the toxic people, that's what that's what it is. That's exactly what it is. It took me a minute. There's a lot of toxic things around you. You need to release those in order to get the solid foundation relationship that you're looking for. And in the financial, financial solid foundation as well. That's what I'm hearing, okay? Let's pull a romance card and see exactly if you do this and you take this advice, release the negativity, what will come in for you in February? What kind of relationship? All right, so give your, your relationship a chance. So you're definitely going to meet somebody new or you're in a relationship, but you need to give it a chance and get rid of the toxic, anything toxic, and then it will move forward in a positive direction. That's what I'm getting for you, Leos, all right? I really hope this resonates for you. Please comment, subscribe to my channel. Would love to hear your thoughts on how this resonated for you. You just need to release the negativity. Otherwise, it's going to dominate your whole February. You don't want that. All right. Virgos, Virgos, Virgos. What's in store for Virgos? Ah, 
for the month of February. <laughs> Woo, Virgo, already. Sounds like you've had a lot of, a lot of, you have the tower card. The tower card is telling me that you are just, you've got a lot going on and everything's falling apart, but it's not a bad thing. Well, we'll see. Let me pull more cards. Oh, okay. Lovers in reverse. So I really feel, and then the death card. So what I'm getting right now, let me just shuffle a little bit more, but as I'm talking, wow, the cards are just popping out here. You could be getting out of a relationship that no longer serves you because I feel that you've had a transformation recently and you haven't been feeling that that love for yourself. And let's see. Oof. And you haven't, yeah. what I'm hearing is you may be working really hard, but it's time to maybe just take a little bit of a break. It's time for you to either get out of the situation. If this is, and if you're a Virgo looking for a relationship, I really feel that the people you're attracting right now aren't the people that you're, the person that you're turning into. I think that what I'm hearing is that you're, you've just grown, you've grown. And the people you thought you wanted to attract or that you're involved with, oh, this is awesome. It's just no longer serving you. So, and I really feel that maybe things have turned upside down financially for you too, but honestly, I see a brand new fresh start with this Ace of Wands. This is my favorite card in the deck, definitely. And it is a brand new fresh creative start. And it's time, I feel like you've been reflecting too much. It's time for you to stop reflecting with the five of, or four of swords in reverse. When it's upright, you're reflecting. It's time for you to get out of this energy, Virgo. It's time for you, if you have a brand new fresh start coming, you need to make the decision and to move forward, to choose between vice and virtue, right? So let's see. So yeah, I definitely feel like there's not a lot of love surrounding you currently, but you can definitely get out of that energy because you've transformed. So you need to surround yourself with people who are aligned. And um, because you know that you have inner strength and the hermit card, which is very Virgo, is in reverse. So you're definitely going to come out of this energy of resting too much and moving forward and releasing whatever this this queen of wands, this, this emotional unfulfilling thing that you're in, you're going to release this and move forward. You have the strength to do it and you know you do. You have a brand new fresh start coming. This is awesome. So cool. All right. So what is the advice for my Virgos to get this brand new fresh start rocking and rolling? Okay. Besides what I already said, you've transformed. This is amazing. And you need to release whatever that toxic energy is in the past and whatever, you know, this is typically, um, the marriage, a marriage card, you know, the ultimate happiness, ultimate, ultimate financial foundation, but it's in reverse. So I'm feeling that your world's been turned upside down and this, this vision you had, it no longer exists. So you need to move forward, get this brand new fresh start going on. Okay. All right. All right. What do Virgos need to know? Advice, advice, advice. Okay. So hold your vision. You know exactly what you want, what you deserve. And with this death card, it's transformation, like a phoenix rising from the ashes. This is a really great card for transformation. It's not a physical anything. It's all transformational, spiritual growth. And with the Ace of Wands, you know what it is you want to manifest. You totally know what it is. So hold your vision. Do some morning affirmations, Virgos, and really maybe do some journaling. You need to get out of the situation and... Um, and move forward into a new situation. That's what I'm hearing. And that is also within yourself. You've been doing a little bit too much reflecting. It's time for you to, to get out of there, get out of your head and stop ruminating in the past. Okay, hold your vision. Let's see, a romance card for my Virgos. What's going on? Virgo, Virgo. Okay, you deserve love. So, what I'm seeing 
already, you know, with this tower or things falling apart in your current relationship or in your dating, you need to surround yourself with people who have your best interest in mind because with the lovers in reverse, it's telling me that it's things are out of balance. It's, um, you know, it's not the sympathetic thing it used to be. That's what I'm hearing. So you deserve love. Hold your vision for that brand new fresh romance that you're looking for because it's going to provide it. And whether this is transforming in a relationship, that could be taken however it resonates with you as well. It depends what direction you want to go. All right, Virgos. Well, I hope this resonated with you. Please comment below. Subscribe to my channel. Would love to hear how this resonates. And I wish you the best of luck in February. All right. So since we're skipping around a little bit, we're going to do cancers next. All right. Okay, what's in store for my cancers for February? I had to think about it. All right. Okay. So it looks like you're kind of feeling a little inspired right now, Cancers, but the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. You have the Ace of Wands in reverse, so not feeling creative, not feeling like there's a brand new start. And But things are turning into your favor. Okay, and maybe even hanging in a little bit of self-sacrifice and uh, mental space of feeling stuck. But I do feel that, let's see. Oh, you're definitely moving on. Oh, this is awesome. Oh my gosh, you're gonna have new love. A new love offer's coming in. You're coming into brand new fresh waters. You're leaving the past behind of things that no longer serve you. And yes, um, maybe even in a situation where you're only getting a little bit of crumbs, it's time for you to get the whole cake, okay? You deserve the whole cake, Cancers. Yes. Okay. So the Ten of Cups in reverse is telling me that you have emotional happiness on the way, but you need to have a little bit of faith by leaving the past behind. You're traveling onto safer waters. You've just packed up and said, I'm on my way to new things. And you have the Knight of Cups. So a new emotional love offer is coming in for you. And that could be also for yourself and how you treat yourself. You definitely been feeling that, you know, a little bit of a delay in this by not feeling this creative brand new fresh spark. But I do feel that within four weeks and it's February, it's a short month. You're definitely going to have that feeling because you've been feeling like the nights, like the Knight of Pentacles in reverse is very slow, but the energy surrounding the situation is telling me it's going to move forward quickly. And you're definitely like you you definitely have a decision to make and your decision is to stay stuck and un, uninspired and creative or move forward into something that can bring you this total emotional happiness and turn this upside down all right cancers Whew. then you have the queen of pentacles upright so this is great you have a solid knowing of what you need to do, the decision you need to make to spark that creativity and get back into what it is that gives you passion and love. And I really feel that you're going to have a new love offer coming in, but you need to love yourself first and you'll be able to make the decision once it happens. So a little bit of advice for my cancers. Just have this move forward. Okay, so the answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. So definitely there's going to be some communication coming in. You need to make a decision. And whatever it is you're seeking to spark this new creativity, to bring in new romance, it's going to happen for you. And let's see, the romance cards are telling me that in that area... Okay, you are calling in your soulmate. So this is maybe why you've been feeling uninspired. Maybe you're not with your soulmate or you're just surrounding yourself with people who you know aren't your soulmate. So what are you doing spending time with them? They're, it's, it's watering down your creativity. So you need to 
have faith, make a decision to move on, whether it's leaving past resentments or anything in your relationship and moving forward, or if you're single, leaving those people behind that no longer serve you and surround yourself with people who bring in those soulmate qualities that you have for yourself, that you really want that true loving relationship. All right, Cancers, there's my prediction for you for February. Please let me know how that resonates for you. I'm really interested to see how your February unfolds. All right, best of luck, Cancers. I need a sip of water. Okay, now we're moving backwards. Mm -hmm. I need a little bit more water. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my gosh, okay. All right, we are moving on to Gemini. We're going backwards in the Zodiac today. Not really sure why I was called to do that, but it ended up that way. All right, Geminis, what's going on for you for February? Wow. Okay, so first of all, I really feel that you're in a spot where you're feeling really uninspired, hoping for a blessing in the blue to come out of the blue. And if it does, let's see if, if you're going to accept it. You're definitely holding on to things. You have the four of cups and the four of pentacles. So you have two fours right here. So you're definitely holding on to an idea or a situation. And you have the strength card. It's very Leo energy. So you have the strength card that can change this situation. You just need to have inner strength to accept these offers or accept something new coming in. And um, you have the Ace of Wands in reverse. You're definitely feeling really inspired, which is these three cards right here are telling me, oh wait, that you're feeling uninspired and you're holding on to something that you're just holding on your guards up and you're not letting new blessings coming in. So you have the strength to, to change this around in your current relationship. Then we have the death card. And if you're looking for new relationships, you're definitely, you definitely have the ability that was upside down. You definitely have the ability to balance things out, but things have been a little bit out of balance for you. And you just a readjustment. And if this is just meeting new people, let's see if there's new love. You have, you have the three of pentacles. So there's a lot of communication that's coming in for you and a lot of camaraderie. So you need to get yourself out there. And then I also have the, uh, the two of uh, swords. So you just need to make this decision to move forward and better your current relationship or get out there and start meeting new people because let's see, if, you know, I, I really feel like you can bring in new love and refresh this whole thing. You just need to communicate. We have the pentacle, page of pentacles in reverse. So there's definitely, there's definitely a feeling or there was a feeling of maybe not feeling good enough, but you are good enough. You are good enough to, to pull in the love that you want and to change or change your new relation or your current relationship into what it is you want by communicating what it is you want. Then we have the, the six of cups. So that's what you're definitely, that's what you're wishing for. And that's amazing. This is beautiful, emotional fulfillment, really just warm feelings and a warm, beautiful relationship. And then you have the three of cups. So I think you're gonna be celebrating a new step into a current relationship and moving it to the next level and or meeting new people and having that warm loving relationship that you're looking for so for my gemini's the card for you is don't let your past hold you back okay so that see this is what's this is what i see is you know you're feeling uninspired, you're holding on to some old thought processes, you're not letting new things come in because maybe you've been wounded in your past from people. By letting that go and having the strength to let that go, you will definitely, you'll be able to move, you'll be able to have a, a brand new fresh start. And I did not put this up right on purpose. It happened that way and it's, cause it's, 
it's telling me you're gonna have a brand new fresh start or you're going to meet somebody brand new. This is awesome. Okay, so for the Romance Angel cards, I'm going to do to do, do see exactly what kind of, where this is going to hit your romance. Once you release your past, retreat. So you're definitely letting go of your past. You could meet somebody who is really just gonna wanna get to know you and um, not just a surface level, but a, a brand new fresh start. And if you're in a relationship, it's telling me that once you let the past go, you are going to be able to have a little bit more time with your, your current partner and really just get to know each other on an intimate level again and just really just, you know, retreating from the world. So let's see, um, I'll pull one more card for that and see. Give your relationship a chance. Definitely. So you've you just had some mental things going on emotionally and um, you just need to release the past and you're going to move forward and and really, you know, blossom into this beautiful, loving relationship that you're wanting. Oh, I'm happy for you. That's amazing. Okay, my Geminis. Comment below. Let me know how that resonates for you. I'm really interested to see how that that's going to transpire for you. Just let the past go. Okay? Woohoo! All right. Now we're moving on to Taurus. Woo! Right out of the right out of the gate. Okay. I feel like you've recently just released yourself from something and you're moving on to better pastures. And Yes, you're leaving the past behind. And with the hangman in reverse, it's telling me that you've, step, you've decided to make a decision to step out of whatever's been holding you back and moving on to safer waters with the Six of Swords. And whatever it is that you're involved with is done, okay? Hate to say it, but that doesn't mean if you're single, it doesn't, I mean, it could mean that too. So let's see, let's see how this unfolds. So we have, yep, you definitely are a little bit in a, a little mental agony, being stressed, and you don't feel like you have options, but you do. You have a lot of options to choose from. It's whatever is going, you need to, you need to move forward in what's emotionally fulfilling you and get a little bit out of the headspace. Yes, definitely. There's been the Ace of Swords in your recent past and the ace of or the king of wands and you're okay coming up all right let's see i see what's happening here the cards are kind of popping out faster than i can read them okay so there's been a brand new fresh start you've decided to move forward people have been taking advantage of you in your current situation and i do feel that you're going to meet somebody who's a fire sign coming in and you've decided to release the past, which is good. You've released any negative energy that's been holding you back, helping, you know, keeping you in a mental sacrifice um, stuck situation. And there's a blessing coming out of the blue for you. This is awesome. Taurus, this is great. You have a blessing coming out of the blue. So let's see what that would be because the Wheel of Fortune is spinning in your favor for sure. Okay. Do, do, do heart to heart conversations. You have a blessing coming out of the blue and you're going to have a heart to heart conversation with somebody that you just connect with on a soul level and that you just immediately have things to talk about and you get down to the, the, the bottom of things right away rather than, you know, surface talk. And I really feel that there's a lot of passion coming in. You've just released the past, whether it's in a current relationship, you know, releasing something that it could have put a damper on your relationship or I'm really getting like releasing somebody in the past and moving forward to some towards somebody new and accepting these new love offers coming in you know I feel like there's a couple people that want to ask you out okay so the advice to get there is adjustments are required so adjustments are required meaning that you're really actually already doing it you're already on the right path releasing the things that no longer serve you so 
just be able to recognize that when these blessings do come out of the blue, to be from a heart-centered point of view and, and don't let your past hold you back because you've already released it. So no going back in the past. Keep moving forward, okay, Taurus? Love it. All right, that's what I have for Taurus. Please comment below. Let me know how this resonates with you. I'm curious to see what happens for you in February, but it sounds like you have some blessings coming. I cannot wait to hear what they are. So comment and let me know what they are. All right, thanks Taurus. Talk to you soon, bye.